During Friday's funeral for Aretha Franklin, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan made a promise that had the church cheering. Well, let's take you back to Friday. And on Tuesday, I will be sending City Council a proposal to rename Shane Park. Our beautiful waterfront jewel will be Aretha Franklin Park. Well, Jermont Terry is at the park right now. Jermont, the mayor and the council made that promise and they kept it. They did, Devin. That 8-0 vote made the green, gave the green light to change the name. Now, the Shane Park name will go away, and I can tell you that this park behind me, behind me rather, will have a new name that's synonymous to Detroit, Aretha Franklin Park. The city of Detroit owns Shane Park. The mayor and council wanted to show just how much Aretha meant to her beloved city. The first order of business on the first day back from the Labor Day holiday, the council put the suggested name change to vote. Motion has been approved unanimously. Present at the meeting, Aretha's sister-in-law and niece. We thank you. We thank you. We're looking forward to the changes. We're looking forward to everything that's going to take place. And we appreciate the mayor for considering making the change so quickly. I'm just thankful that the city has embraced my aunt like she did. I, the processional from the church to the funeral home was amazing. That just showed me how much the city really loved my aunt. We're going riding on a freeway of love in my pink the family believed the star-studded tribute last week was more than fitting, but to now know the Queen of Soul's name will bear the amphitheater's name comes with emotions and gratitude. We're looking forward to seeing you at the groundbreaking and at the wonderful weekend that we're going to plan. Now, you heard the family mention a weekend that they're going to plan. Apparently, they're planning another big Aretha Franklin tribute and that will likely be the time that we see the official name change over. No exact time when that will take place, but I'm sure it will be star-studded again. Reporting live at what's soon to be Aretha Franklin Park, Jermont Terry, Local 4. And, and Jermont, I, I understand uh, there are some folks who don't want this uh, the, uh, Aretha's naming of other things to stop there. They'd like more done. You're right. Apparently, there's an online community p uh, petition to get some signatures to turn Cobo Hall into Aretha Franklin um, Convention Center. No words as to how they will go about that or if it really has some momentum, but people in the community are asking and looking to see if they can get that name on Cobo Hall as well. Wow. All right. We'll see. All right, Jermont.